Starting off, I have divided the paper into two equal halves by drawing a vertical line and a horizontal line. Next thing that we need to do is again take out our scale and measure 4 cm on all four sides. So measuring 4 cm on all four sides and marking the points. So next what we are going to do is we are going to join these lines diagonally. Creating a square shape but in a diamond formation. After we've done drawing our 4 cm square in a diamond shape, what we'll do again is place our scale again at the center points and mark 3 cm points on each side. Now again we are going to join these points with diagonal lines After we are done drawing our 4 cm and 3 cm circle, what we are going to do is draw another square shaping side of this but just leaving a bit of distance like a margin outline. This center area would be a galaxy area. So here is our square diamond shape ready with the pencils. Next thing that we need to do is take out our fine liners and go on redoing these lines again. Use a thicker tip fine liner to get darker bolder outlines. So here we are done outlining with the pen. Next thing that we do is go on to adding detailing. So we first start off with the pencils and then move forward with the pen. Adding the detailing to the corners first so that it cuts and come in a way. So adding a petal shape at the corners using a pencil first. So that we don't make any kind of mistakes with this. So here we have our corner sorted. Next 
we are gonna again take our fine liners and redo it with them next what we do is we go on and patterns inside of this spare layer over here starting off with an ovular kind of shape make it as uniform as possible What we're going to do is completely fill off the remaining white spaces over here. So here we have a pattern layer ready. Next we are going to add the dailies to our pattern. We start off by double outlining it to give it a clean nice edge.
next we go on to adding the dealings in it we are going to use a semi half parcel pattern over here with the circle inside and we are going to fit each of these shapes with the similar kind of pattern So here we have done completing all of our pattern detailings. The next thing that we need to do before we move any further is take an eraser and erase off this pixel line from the inside of the square one so that it doesn't come in our way while we are doing the watercolor. The next thing that we need to do is add some color water fresh clean water in the center part and wet it out so we are going to be using this wet on wet technique to create a galaxy next thing that we do is we take our watercolor brush in the shade and we go on adding it along the sides leaving the center portion The next thing that we do is we take our black watercolor brush or brush pen whichever you are using and add it to the extreme edges of a square over here. Take a thinner brush 
wet it out and use some water to blend the black with the red color wheel. Give it a dark galactic look. You can use the wet brush to smudge the color in the center portion as well. And this time you use a bit more of water. and use the crimson sheet to intensify the color along with the black one and extend it a bit more towards the center portion. Next we use a lighter yellow shade to add in the center portion, not completely. We are leaving a bit of white portion in the middle po area. And we just add it to the edges of our red. Again, we use our wet brush and blend the color together. We blend the center portion as well using a wet brush. We add just a bit of yellow to brighten up the shade and also make the edges look much more softer. So here we are done with our watercolor galaxy. We just wait it for a bit to dry before we add any kind of details to it. Next we are going to take some metallic watercolor in the shade of wood. You can apply any kind of metallic pens as well or markers, whichever you have.
of the green is used a white chip then a white color so around the list you can use email and different kinds of dots to create the style Now here we are done with the Galaxy Square Mandala.